event you are in today might not be the first in Ghana, but it is certainly unique in every way. It is by far the largest. It is also modular, thereby allowing us to grow far into the future. And it is definitely the most complete. It is not by sheer coincidence that we have gotten here. It is by design. We are investing in the future because we believe in our country's future. Your Excellency, I would like to thank you again for your vision and for investing in a better Ghana. And I would like to say that I'm fully confident that with your leadership and perseverance, the Ghana Automo Automotive Development Policy will soon be fully implemented. Today has been made possible through a conscious effort by government to attract investment into the industrial sector. One of such is the development oper and operationalization of the Ghana Automotive Development Policy, which has the vision of making Ghana a fully integrated and competitive industrial hub for the automobile industry in the region. Ladies and gentlemen, the automotive industry is one of 10 strategic anchor industrial sectors identified by government as growth poles for our nation's industrial transformation. Against all odds, and the pessimism expressed by some naysayers, we continue to attract investment into the development of an automotive industry in Ghana, with our country's automotive policy receiving rave reviews across the continent and the world. Today we are witnessing what will go down in history as another giant step towards Ghana's quest to establish herself as a regional hub for the automotive industry in sub-Saharan Africa. Rana Motors, with support from Kia Motors Corporation of Korea, the manufacturer of Kia vehicles, and one of the leading global vehicle manufacturers, has successfully established the only assembly plant for the production of Kia vehicles in West Africa. This facility has already offered direct employment to 50 young men and women, and it is expected to create some 300 indirect jobs, whilst contributing to the development of the local value chain for automobile assembly. The company, I've been informed, has the capacity to assemble some 30,000 vehicles annually, bringing the total capacity of domestically established assembly plants close to 100,000 vehicles per year. For me, this investment by Rana Motors is a strong indication of the private sector's support of my government's industrialization agenda and a sign of growing resilience by the private sector in these challenging times. I want to assure you, and indeed all private sector players, the government will continue to introduce sector-specific policy interventions which create a predictable policy regime and an enabling environment for businesses to survive and thrive. I acknowledge that a critical component for harnessing the full potential for an automotive industry is demand for assembled vehicles. As you may all be aware, I have directed, through the Chief of Staff at the Office of the President, the prioritization of the procurement of domestically assembled vehicles by state institutions to fulfill government's commitment of patronizing made in Ghana products. We are, however, mindful of the fact that the state alone cannot purchase the sufficient numbers of vehicles to be produced from our assembly plants, and would thus require Ghanaians also to patronize these vehicles. To stimulate demand for domestically assembled vehicles, we will soon be rolling out an asset-based vehicle financing scheme as it exists in developed economies, to afford Ghanaians the opportunity to purchase vehicles 
from the Ghana Automotive Development Program. With the assemblers under the program, I assure you that we will continue to engage in discussions that will lead to the expansion of the market for domestically assembled vehicles at the regional and continental levels to drive demand and create the necessary traction for you to transition into complete knockdown assembly which will be supported by component and kits produced domestically to feed into the supply chain. The Ministry of Trade and Industry will soon be submitted to Cabinet for approval the Ghana Automotive Component Manufacturing Policy, which has outlined incentives to attract investors into the component manufacturing sector. The, the policy will also support our artisans within SWAMI Kukumpe and other enclaves to upgrade their capacity to fit seamlessly into the automotive value chain. Ladies and gentlemen, it is government's hope that the incentives granted Rana Motors will translate into competitive pricing of vehicles for the Ghanaian consumer. We look forward to the transitioning of this assembly plant into a fully integrated vehicle production plant in Ghana. The project is yet another sign of the strong relations that exist between the Republic of Ghana and the Republic of Korea, which we appreciate very much and are determined to advance and deepen. I wish Rana Motors every success, and I'm confident that this project will prove to be a pivot in our drive to become an automotive hub, not only in West Africa, but also ultimately in the rest of Africa. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, Nime, I have the singular pleasure and honor to declare the Rana Motors Assembly Plant officially commissioned. May God bless Rana Motors and us all. And may God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention.